Hey guys, it's Timbo Blake here at 1100 South. I'm sure I've seen you around the property. I may not know who you are and you may not know who I am, but I'm sure I know your dog or your cat. Once again, it's Timbo Black, 1100 South. But listen, we're here today because of all the crazy stuff that's going on around Charlotte today, not only in Charlotte, but around the world. Just coronavirus has got everybody in a tizzy. Look, it's got me in my a tizzy, it's got my family in a tizzy, but what we're here today is kind of help you. This is all about you and all of my guests here at 1100 South. So, in case I'm not available, which chances are I'm not gonna be available because of everything that is going on, we want to show you how, one of the simple things on how, we're going to call this segment How To With Timbo. And today, segment one is How To With Timbo and How To Plunge a Commode. So, what I like to recommend is have some nice clean hands, okay? If you don't have gloves, find some, but it's okay if you don't. Just clean your hands, make them sterile. You will need, in this video, a plunger, just a standard plunger, guys. You know, we, we can get them at... At any of the hardware stores, Lowe's, your Dollar General's, just a standard plunger. There's nothing fancy about this plunger that we have. It's just a plunger, guys, okay? So what you're going to do is you've got, a, you've got a backed up commode, okay? For whatever reason, we've all had them. Don't be embarrassed by them. We've all got them. It's happened, okay? So we're going to open the lid, step one, and we're going to open the commode lid as well, okay? So now, you've got a mess in here. You'll take the plunger, okay? And you'll move away all the debris, all right? Step away and get the center of the plunger, which is right here, into the bottom of the bowl, okay? And at that point, just kind of you want to force down with one, two, three, okay? And what's going to happen, you're not going to get all this splash back because you got all the water in here. And what that's going to do is going to force all the debris down the pipe, okay? At that point, pull the plunger out. If the debris goes down, great, phenomenal. You flush it and you go about your business. Now, if you happen to have a really big problem, go back to it once again, repeat steps one, two, and three. One, two, three, okay? At that point, you should have all the debris movement down the commode. Now, one of my go-to things that is one of my favorites, is if you don't have a plunger and the debris is not backed all the way up to the top, you can take a gallon of water in a small bucket and pour it into it. At that point, it will flush the commode by itself. That's only if you've tried step one, two, and three and you still have debris in the commode, okay? Thanks, guys. Once again, it's Tim O'Black coming to you live here at 1100 South showing you how to Undo a commode or plunge a commode with Tim Black. Thanks.